In my last repair video, I did some lower pins in the bobtatch down here. Let me show you. Right here. Very low, lower pivot pin. In this particular video, we're going to show you this upper hydraulic pin in the bobtatch. Let's go right now. So I'm about to start up the machine and show you the play in the pins. So if you'll take a look as I operate this bucket. See that? You're looking at the hydraulic. Side's a lot more significant than this side. That side does have some play, but this side on the right side is really bad and needs replaced. But we're going to replace both pins right now. So now this will give you a better idea of how much play is in that pin versus this pin. Now this one still does have some slop in it, but what I did was I evened out the uh, pressure on the pin so that now I can move this freely. So here we go. We got some pins and bushings. Uh, I don't know what we're dealing with until we get it apart. So let's check it out. My hammer here. I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. Okay. Now I'm replacing this pin. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick pliers on it and yank it out the rest of the way. Maybe with a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Now, the idea is to hopefully see a lot of wear in this pin because there might be bushings in there. And you now, bushings aren't that hard to replace, but I'd much rather just slide a new pin in here for now. So, definitely the new pin looks more robust than the old pin. Let's take a look inside the sleeve. Now, is there a bushing in there? I don't know. We'll have to check it out. So it's not going to hurt anything to go ahead and just put this new pin in. So what I did was the old pin slid out this way. So I just grabbed the new pin with the bolt side on that side. And then I just stuck it in here and uh, make sure that these holes line up so you can put your bolt through. And then just pushing it through. You see how easy it moves back and forth because I supported the weight on the bucket here. All right, I did have to make a slight minor adjustment for this new pin. So that, that is good because that shows me that uh, it's tighter. And it definitely feels tighter, okay? So now let's put our bolt in. We've got a new bolt and a new nut. Get that bolt in there and that nut on tight. You don't want to get too carried away before you put more grease. So. There's your grease dirt. It's a good idea to go ahead and clean it up before you, you put this in, in there because you can push dirt through. But uh, pump some uh, grease in there. See it coming up the sides there? All right. Now I'm going to start it up and we're going to take a look at the wear. I'm going to take this uh, jack out here. Okay.
I can just tell whenever I pull out these pins, this whole bucket assembly or bob tatch, I could take the bucket off, but the bob tatch is gonna wanna go down. So just to make things easier, I'm gonna keep the bucket on. And I'm gonna put a floor jack underneath the bucket and then uh, make the play in the pin uh, even on both sides. So it's not, so the pin will push out easy and uh, then we'll see what we're dealing with. So let's see. So the play was significantly reduced. I was gonna replace the uh, bushings. I do have the bushings here. Uh, I believe that that is the bushing that goes in there. If you were to put it in there, you would wanna make sure that that hole lines up with the zert fitting. But uh, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and skip replacing the bushings right now, because if you notice how much slop is in this actual bob tatch, I believe that's where most of my play is coming from. You see the, the room around here? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have enough Oh, well, pin's got a decent amount of play on that side as well. Let's check the other side. Okay. I put a new pin in this side and I can't move this side. So I think I'm gonna put a new pin in the other lower side now. Okay, now most of the play on this side is now coming from this lower pivot point. All right, that's a, uh, let me see if I can, you see that? I did have a video on replacing the one on the other side. Uh, whenever I got this kit, I got two of those conical shaped lower bobtatch pins. Unfortunately, uh, I, whenever I bought this machine, the side that I was replacing, this side over here, when I bought this machine, this bolt was already loose, broken. I had to replace this pin. I got a video on replacing this pin. Um, what I did was I put it in with an impact, okay? So what happened was it sheared again shortly after that. And then I put another one in. And what did I do? I, I used a, uh, a torque wrench on that one. And then I torqued it to like 250 foot pounds. I don't know what the torque spec is, but I torqued it uh, to like as much as my torque wrench would go. Uh, and broke that pin too. So third time's a charm. I uh, I don't know the right way to do stuff or whatever, but I'm a mechanic. So I replaced it with a higher grade bolt, maybe not a shear bolt, I don't know. But um, this one I was able to get even more torque on. And then I was able, that conical pin and the lower bob tatch, this one here, I was able to cram it in there really tight, hammer it in there. I mean, you just really have to get that thing tight. I think what was happening while I sheared those pins was I was trying to push it in with the threads. And I think it's a better idea to get that, that conical pin and hammer it in. Uh, Town tuner.